All right, so in this chapter, we are gonna talk about the SSH keys and the Ansible playbook. So whenever we talk about the SSH keys, then we are talking about the two keys. One is the public key and one is the private key. And since we are working with the Ansible, so the private key part will always remain with our Ansible playbook, which is local to you. And the public key will always go onto the remote server. So first of all, we are just going to create those keys and then we are going to use the private key for our host inside our host file and the public key, uh, which we are going to copy it to our remote server. Let's switch over to our desktop and see the demo. So here onto the screen, you can see uh, on the left hand side, this is my Ansible playbook where my private key is. And then we are going to execute the Ansible playbook and then it is going to communicate with our remote server with a dedicated IP. This IP is just an example. And in this uh, remote server, we will have our public key. But the question comes like how you are going to generate the SSH key. So on the screen, you will see on the left hand side, this is the command which we are going to use to create our SSH keys. So here we will be creating two keys. So on the right hand side, you will see Ansible demo and Ansible demo.pub. So uh, Ansible demo under Ansible underscore demo is going to be our private key and Ansible underscore demo.pub will be our public key. So these two keys we will be creating and the public key we will try to copy it to our remote server. So I'll switch over to my terminal and first of all, let's create the SSH keys. So here is my terminal and the command which I'm just gonna run is the SSH keys in. And here it will ask for the name of the keys which you want to create. So I'm just gonna use the same location. I just wanted to create the uh, keys onto the same location and the name of the key is ansible underscore demo but you can specify your own path where you want to create those ssh keys i'm just creating it over here that that just for an example and simply hit enter i don't want to associate any passphrase so i'm just going to keep it empty again empty and that's how we are just going to create the SSH key. So here you will see this is our first key uh, that is Ansible underscore demo. That is our private key. And this is going to be the second key, which is our public key uh, that is also present under dot SSH. And it is ending with the extension dot pub. That means that is our public key. Now let's take a look onto the previous slide, which I have shown. So here uh, we have created the Ansible demo that is our private key as well as the public key. The next thing which we need to do is we need to copy the public key to our remote server. That means we need to copy Ansible underscore demo dot pub key to our remote server. So I'm just going to use the SSH copy command to copy this public key to our remote server. So this is my terminal and the co command which I'm just going to use is SSH copy ID if I can could show you over here. So this is the SSH copy ID command. After that, I need to use the I flag and here I need to specify the public key which is present onto my system. So this is the public key which is present. And after that, I need to specify the username account which is present onto that remote server and the IP address of that particular remote server. So once it is done, then you just simply need to hit enter and it will ask for the password of our remote server. So again, I'm just going to copy the password from my notepad and paste it over here. And here you can see the one key has been added. So that means we have successfully added our public key to the remote server. Now, coming back to the presentation once again. So our the part of copying the public key to the remote server is over. Now we need to associate our private key with our Ansible playbook. Okay, so here's my Ansible playbook. Uh, this is my Ansible playbook and where we need to associate our private key path. So you need to go to the host file. This is the IP address of my uh, remote machine. And this is the path actually. This is the path of my private key. So here, this is the keyword Ansible SSH private key file. That's the keyword from Ansible. And here you need to specify the path of your private key. So here I'm just gonna use my new key that is Ansible underscore demo. That's going to be the my private key for this Ansible playbook. So I'm just gonna open the terminal once again and I'm just gonna rerun the Ansible playbook with my new private key. So here the playbook command is again pretty simple Ansible playbook, then the inventory file where my host and the private key definition exist and the name of my playbook and I'm just simply gonna hit enter 
and now this time it is going to use my newly created private key uh, from my local machine to connect to our remote server so here you can see our uh, command has successfully completed and this time i have reduced the playbook so over here if you'll see so i'm just creating a very basic directory just to verify that i am able to connect to remote server and i'm able to create a, a directory into my remote machine let's ssh into the or login into the server and verify that our directory has been created or not so i'm just going to use this command to ssh into my system and here we are able to log in into our remote server and i'm just going to run the ls command and here you can see our directory has been created with the name basic http server all right so now you have seen like how to create the public key and the private key and how to use those keys to ssh into your remote server while you're running the ansible playbook but now into the next session, we'll take a look on one of the most basic concept that is yml which is used for writing the ansible playbook so we'll take a look on to the example yml which i have used in previous session so that is going to be one of the basic yml and we will focus on the concept like what are the indentation rule what are the syntax you need to follow while writing your own ansible playbook so that is going to be the next session for our ansible series